Learn and play online. In today's video, we will be comparing fractions using a fraction wall. Just like when we are comparing numbers, we use the mathematical signs greater than, less than and equal to when comparing fractions as well. In this video, we will be using a fraction wall to help us compare fractions. A fraction wall gives a visual representation of different fractions. Let's start from the beginning. We start our fraction wall with one whole. If we divide the whole into two equal parts, we will have two halves. Now let's see what our whole would look like if we divide it into thirds to have three equal parts. As you can see, we can keep dividing the whole at the very top into many different fractions with different sized equal parts. For this video, we will only go up to twelfths. Now that you can see a visual representation of the same whole divided into equal sized parts, it is very easy to compare fractions. Let's compare a half to two thirds. Here is what one half looks like and here is what two thirds looks like. You can clearly see that one half is smaller, so we can say that one half is less than two thirds. Now let's compare three quarters with four sixths. First, we need to locate and highlight each of these fractions on the fraction wall. Here is three quarters and here is four sixths. What do you notice? You can see from the highlighted sections that 3 quarters is larger than 4 sixths. So we use this mathematical symbol. And the sentence reads, 3 quarters is greater than 4 sixths. Let's compare one more set of fractions together. Let's compare 4 eighths with 5 tenths. This is what 4 eighths looks like. And here is 5 tenths. What do you notice? That's right. They are equivalent fractions, so we use this symbol and we read the number sentence as 4 eighths is equal to 5 tenths. Now that you are more familiar with using a fraction wall, it is your turn to compare fractions. Remember to use the greater than, less than or equal to symbol when comparing. You can use a whiteboard or spare paper to record the questions and your answers. There will be 5 questions in total. How many will you get right? Question 1. Compare 2 thirds and 4 sixths. Two thirds is equal to 4 sixths. Question 2. Compare 2 fifths and 5 sevenths. Two fifths is less than 5 sevenths. We are going to make it harder now because from here on the fractions will not be highlighted on the fraction wall. You will have to look for them and compare them yourself. Question 3. Compare 3 sixths and 3 ninths. Three sixths is greater than three ninths. Question four. Compare three tenths and four twelfths. Three tenths is less than four twelfths. Question 5. Compare 6 elevenths and 2 sevenths. Six elevenths is greater than two sevenths. We hope you got them all correct. Thanks for watching!
Please remember to subscribe for more videos.